Hello students, for those of you who are making a web portfolio, I'm going to show you the easiest option for completing this and that is called Padlet. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and allow you to take a look at this really easy option. Okay, now, this option is great for people who are really just not too tech savvy um, and maybe you're feeling a little overwhelmed at the end of the semester and how you're gonna get this done. If you hadn't already started. Uh, if you need to put something together really quickly last minute and you still wanna be able to make a website, Padlet is the easiest place to do it. So just go to padlet.com and sign up for an account. Once you sign up, it's gonna take you to this dashboard. And very simply, you're just gonna click make a, make a Padlet. And once you get in there, it will give you options. Okay, so you can pick whatever look you like. Uh, most people do a grid or a wall or something like this, but you can decide what you want it to look like. It could be streaming, which would look a little more like Facebook. Um, you can have a um, shelf where you have them kind of stacked like this. Uh, timeline, even if you wanted to be creative and do something like that. So I'm just gonna go with the wall, just to show you an example. And then it's gonna start off here by giving me some options, okay? I can title it whatever I want. I'm just gonna call it web portfolio, okay? I can change the fonts and I can change the background to whatever I want, okay? So if I wanna change the color, um, I can do that. There's a lot of choices. It doesn't give me tons of different design options. It gives me a few. But remember, this is the simplest option, okay? So it's not meant to be a really detailed, uh, beautifully designed website. It's sort of more like a bulletin board that you can just hang stuff on. So that's exactly what it will function like, okay? So once I'm done, um, I can go through these steps and then I can just start posting, okay? And the easy thing about this is it's exactly like I mentioned, just like a bulletin board, you just hang things on it and that's it. Uh, so I hit the plus and it gives me a little box here and I can title this whatever I want. Remember your web portfolio should have a picture of you. Um, so maybe I'll just put about me and then I would write a short bio about myself, right? Uh, where I went to school, what I graduated with a degree in and my career goals, whatever. And then I wanna put a picture of myself. So I'm gonna go and pick a file and I'm gonna upload something. I believe I have a picture of myself on the desktop here. So give me a second and let me find it. There we go. And it's gonna load this picture of me. There we go. Not very good, it's kind of blurry, but you know, this is just an example. You might wanna play around with it a little bit. So once I've got something on there, I can add another thing. Let me show you how that works. If I wanted to add an artifact, which if you're doing a web portfolio, that's what you need. You need eight artifacts. Two of them must be um, the core subjects of English and math. So one English, one math. One of them should be your philosophy paper. So that's three. And then the other five can be anything you want, any subject area you like. It could be uh, a paper you wrote, a project you did. It could be even a picture of an art project. It could be a video of you doing a presentation. It could be a PowerPoint you made. Um, it could be a PDF, a Word document, whatever you like, okay? So any of those kinds of things can be artifacts as long as it shows your ability to teach that subject area. And so let's say I have my English artifact, okay? And then I would probably add a little description. Um, you're supposed to have a reflection for each subject. So I would have a couple paragraphs here describing what my artifacts are and how my degree has prepared me to teach this subject, okay? And then I wanna upload my artifacts. So I'm gonna pick a file. And I actually made a folder on my desktop that has um, all of my stuff in it. So you can see I made a folder called LBS Web Portfolio. Mine's called an example because it's not real, but for you, you should do this too. Put all of your artifacts in one folder and get them ready so when you make your website, you can just upload them. I know a lot of you have already started your websites and you've already got a Google site going from another class. You're just adding to it, that's great. But if you are starting from scratch, you're gonna wanna add um, something simple. So you're gonna wanna add all these things from uh, your other subject areas and have all your artifacts ready. So you see, this is just a document where I just typed artifact, just to show an example. But I've got it all 
prepared. I've got it all organized into a folder and all I have to do is upload them on here. Okay, so once I keep going, I can add something else here. I'll show you another example. So this time I'm gonna put uh, this document. Now this is a PowerPoint. I'm not sure that Padlet works with that. I might have to convert it to a PDF. If I do, that's okay. Um, but it seems like it worked, it put it on there. I just typed artifact in all of these just because they're examples anyway. Okay, so let's pretend this is my math um, artifact. And then I could have my reflection. Again, take a look at the examples on Blackboard. Um, but I would just have a subject titled here for each area math, English, and put my artifacts. I could add another artifact for each one if I wanted to. So if I wanted to add another English, I could. Doesn't matter as long as I have eight total, right? Show you again, put one more on there as an example. And as I do that, I've got several things on here now. I can actually move them around. Um, but you'll see that the design element is not uh, super advanced, right? It is just like a bulletin board that kind of snaps it into a grid. So I have these options of rows, but that's about it. I don't have a lot of choices, but that's okay. If you're in a hurry and you're really not very tech savvy, I suggest using Padlet. The best thing you can do is just kind of get it all ready in a folder, create your Padlet and just upload it on there. Then you're done pretty quickly. You are gonna wanna make sure you have a little bio about yourself, a picture of yourself, your name should be clearly on there. Um, so maybe you wanna change the name of the portfolio to your name, um, like Angela's portfolio or something like that. Um, and then when you're done, you have this share button over here. You're gonna click that and there's a share link that you wanna copy to your clipboard. And that link is what you are going to submit to me on Blackboard to turn in your web portfolio. Never go up to the top and copy this because it may not work. You always wanna to go to the share button whatever you're using, and copy the link that you can use to share. That's what you're going to turn in. All right, this has been your video on how to make a Padlet. This is the easiest, simplest way to make a simple website that you can share. And I suggest trying it out anyways, even if you're not going to use it for your portfolio, because you could use it someday in the future in your classroom. Might be an easy way to organize student work or homework assignments or things like that, or even have students create their own portfolios in your class. Have a good one. Let me know if you have any questions.